Hey everyone, this is Amber with Economical Mommy and today we're going to talk about 10 ways that you can add moisture to your home. So here we go. You can add moisture by using a humidifier. Now we like to use the VIX humidifiers because you don't have to spend extra money on buying all of those filters. So if you really want an easy one, this is the way to go. The nice thing about VIX humidifiers is that it creates warm moisture in the air. And warm moisture is really good because it actually makes the air around you feel warmer than what it is. Another great way to add moisture is boil some water. You can go ahead and take the pan of hot boiling water. You can leave it on the stove or you can walk around your house with it just to kind of add moisture to the air. I prefer to leave it on the stove top. Another great way to add moisture to your house is have plants. They actually will help with the moisture in the air and that's great for you and it's also something nice and green to think of instead of all this wintry snow and cold and ice. Another great way to add moisture to your house is by placing bowls of water through out. The only thing is, is you have to be careful with children just because you know they will find ways and things to do with that water that maybe some of us wouldn't really care for. Another great way to add moisture to your house is actually filling a spray bottle with water. And you just go ahead and spray it on carpet or other fabric surfaces until it dries. Surprisingly, doing just a thin mist even in the air is really helpful. Um, I do recommend, however, that you wait till kids are not around um, because if they're anything like my kids, they think it's okay to spray each other with spray bottles and um, you really need to be careful especially if kids get a hold of spray bottles with chemicals so just keep it away from kids even though it is just water another great way to add moisture to your house is to fill your bathtub up with a little bit of water and leave it however once again if you have kids be sure that you don't put enough water in the tub for a child to drown. Um, you really want to be careful of that. Another way you can do this with the bathtub is after taking a shower or after taking a bath. Just don't unplug the water. Just let the water sit. It also works with filling your sink up with water. Um, go ahead and this is one of those times where if you're nearby, go ahead and let your kids have a couple of toys and they can just play in the sink. This is a great activity for in the kitchen while you're cooking is just to go ahead and fill up your double sink or even your single sink. Give the kids a couple measuring cups and let them play. Another way you can add moisture to your home is by not letting your dishwasher finish the drying cycle. With our dishwasher we have a heat dry and so instead we just pop open our dishwasher right before it starts that process so we get all that extra moisture from our dishes and our dishes can just go ahead and dry on the rack naturally. Other ways that you can also add moisture to your house is instead of running your dryer and adding even extra dry air to your house you can go ahead and turn that sucker off, close the door, and go ahead and hang dry your wet clothes. You can get wooden racks at most retailers, but in my case I don't have one, so I go ahead and I just hang dry blankets or towels over things. So in this case I hung a large blanket over the end of my daughter's crib. It's a thick blanket, so it's very wet, and it will be great for adding moisture. The only thing is you do have to be careful on most wood surfaces that you don't ruin the varnish. But in this case, the crib is not a problem. Another way you can add moisture to your house is by either renting or buying your own shampooer. In our case, we bought our own shampooer about seven years ago because it was just a lot cheaper in the long run to have one that we own ourselves versus going out and renting one for anywhere between $40 to $100. So they cost, depending on what you're wanting, 
And what you're looking for, you can spend anywhere between $100 all the way up. Ours cost us about $250 to $300. In the end, it has saved us a bucket load. Another way you can add moisture to your house is by washing your walls. Yay! Who wants to wash their walls? But it is one way, so it's on the bottom of our list just because it's so much work to wash your walls. But if you want to get in the process and start the process of spring cleaning, then by all means, go ahead and wash your walls and add the extra moisture to your house. Well, that's it for our 10 ways to add moisture to your house.